Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit. I'm Architect Sonorai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, I'm going to teach you what are the uses of sweep command which is used in Revit. So I will teach you what are the methods which, in which you can use sweep command. So first uh, I will go to my component can select this one model in place. You can also create some families and there you can use use sweep command so uh, you can see here there are numerous uh, name here like you can create floors furniture whatever uh, uh, project you are working on you can use this category if you are creating furniture you can use furniture or else you can use generic model so i want to create some cornice or molds for this window so i am going to select this generic model here select ok and you can see here I am going to rename this as a window mode so you can learn how to use sweep command so now you can see this uh, creating a uh, extrusion blend revolve and this is the sweep command here and this is sweep blend so uh, I will select this sweep command and now you can see here you can either sketch a path or pick a path and you can select so i'm going to select this pick path and this is window so i will use this this will uh, just select the 3d path this will trace or you can sketch here so i will recommend to use pick path and now you can see this option pick 3d edges so i'm going to select this some 3d edges here this one this one this one and this one and now can see our path is traced by using this pick 3d edges so this will be easy so after you are finished with your path selection you can select this one finish edit mode this green tick mark just uh, uh, press this tick mark here and now you can see here select profile here and in this you can see this profile you can use by sketch or you can by default Revit has given many things here you can select this also or you can uh, download from Google or any websites like Revit City and you can uh, bring that profile here by selecting this one load profile or else you can create your own so I'm going to select this edit profile and now you can simply uh, start drawing what are the shapes you want to hit, uh, to follow this path will be follow if you make any profile shape here this will follow the path so I will go to front view here and you can also select any elevation based on your uh, preference so I will go to this 3d view only and now I will draw a cornice here so I can draw any profile shape here so this is just to make you understand I am not following the dimensions so suppose I have made this uh, I have made this profile here and now I can select your material you can go to material browser here and you can create any material here so I am going to rename this as a mold of cornice and now I will go to select any color here so you can select any paint color here so I have selected this color here white color I will apply this material and now we will come to better angle here so that you can learn so this is the profile which I have created so now I will finish this edit mode I will uh, press this green tick mark here this one more time and you can see this cornice is drawn here so likewise you can use uh, these designs and whatever shapes you want to give you can use this sweep command so these are the some tips and tricks you can also um, draw some shapes here suppose uh, you want to draw any cornice here or any design you can use sweep command and you can also select this and again you can if you want to make any changes you can go to edit in place and select this one and you can edit your sweeps here 
and you can also uh, make changes in path so suppose i i want to make some changes in path uh, path so i'm going to uh, this select this peak path some changes i don't want this uh, place to be used as coordinates so you can delete this and you can finish this so this is only three corner here so can I, I think this mold has gone to opposite direction so i'm going to edit in place and i'm going to edit sweep and i'm going to select profile here and you can see here this is drawn to opposite direction so i'm going to edit profile here and i will just mirror this this mirror and i will bring to this side so i will delete this path here so we just delete, delete this profile so there is no path this is profile and you can just again press this mode edit mode and now you can see this is drawn here so likewise you can use this sweep here and you can also use to draw some uh, suppose you want to draw some curve here and uh, this is the road and you can use edit mode and you can use sweep command here so suppose i'm going to architecture model in place and you can use generic model suppose i want to do it for parking and i will go to sweep again and i will uh, pick path here i will pick three edges i will do it this curve shape and you can see i will go finish this edit mode uh, finish the path tracing and now we can go to edit profile and we can draw some curve here so suppose i want to draw some curve this stone here so this is just to make you understand and you can draw some curving stone here so you can see here this is the curve stone so likewise you can utilize this uh, sweep command and you can finish this edit mode also there are numerous ways you can draw this uh, this uh, a planter box using sweep command so there are n number of methods you can use and also you can draw molding for your roof so you can uh, select this one and we'll do it in place create you can create another sweep and you can uh, pick a path here and you can draw some roof shapes here and also you can use this sketch path so suppose i want to follow some piping work here i want to this follow some shapes here and we draw a circular uh, profile here so you can just finish the remote and you can draw this kind of shapes using sweep uh, command so these are the tips and tricks which uh, you can use in your uh, project and you can use for any building components or outdoor activities or like fountain you can use this sweep command you can also go and create some families here using sweep command so this is very useful tool so this was a tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in reviews please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye